the Schedule A being the itemized deductions worksheet, the major categories on the left-hand side, although this is not the entire schedule here. This is the standard deductions that we would need to be clearing, noting that the standard deduction, again, is tied heavily to filing status. Single filers, 13850 Married filing joint, 27700 In the middle, head of household, 12800 If they are over a certain age, and or blind, we can then have single filing statuses. If one or two of those items apply, here's the standard deduction increases, married filing joint. You can have one through four of those items, considering we have two people and the corresponding standard deductions, which we would have to clear in order to get a benefit from the itemized deductions typically. All right, now we're talking about interest paid, remembering once again that when we talk about the federal income taxes or any income tax, you would think it'd be most normal for an income tax to have deductions that you needed to expend in order to generate the revenue, which we can most clearly see on a Schedule C where we have an income statement, income minus 